All right. Hell Mountain! This is going to be pretty brutal, I think. This level is kind of bullshit, to be honest with you. And it does have a design philosophy I don't like at all. It's this kind of canyon crawling thing. This does become much easier in Brutal Doom because you can zoom in with the M16, but I really don't like these kind of levels because this starts to happen, as you can see. It's this very giant pile of shit where everything's just sort of... Yeah, I don't like these kind of levels for this reason alone. I'm not a fan of it. I mean, it works. It's not like Serious Sam or anything, and I've recently been playing through those and doing the beta testing for uh, Fusion. So, you know, that it doesn't feel nearly as good as it does there. Uh, but in Brutal Doom, this is a wee bit easier because you can take care of those chain gunners much easier uh, just with a quick little headshot or two, which is nice. I know you're probably like, why are you quick saving so much? Well, fuck, I don't want to have to die and lose a bunch of progress, especially since I'm really just sort of demonstrating all this. I wouldn't really play this wad like on my own, like free time for funsies, you know, right? No, I play through it every now and then. It's pretty good. It's one of those few Doom expansions that, like, actually came out that I think has got a pretty good polish to it. I really would say it's pretty good. I mean, some of the difficulty aspects, like, especially towards the end, become really stupid in my opinion, but I think it still holds up pretty well. I don't know how the fuck I ever did this on an Xbox controller, that's all I can say after having played it a few times. But, you know, that's... Maybe it was my mindset back then was different. Because back then, I mean, I was used to playing games with a controller, so... I don't know. The concept of PC gaming to me is really strange, because... When I used to play PC games, I used to use the arrow keys for everything, and I was like, WASD, that's gross. I don't like that. So I actually played through all of Half-Life 1 and 2 using, like, arrow keys and... Yeah, I don't know how the hell I did it. It was really awkward. It didn't feel very good, let me tell you that. Um, I had to, honest to God, like, change it to WASD, because I realized very quickly that's a much better comfortable control scheme than arrow keys, because arrow keys are not nearly as precise. Like, you can do it, I'm not saying you can't, because Old Doom, like in the DOS dope days, was um, controlled using the arrow keys, so... It's not like it was much different, it's just... It's much more preferred... I think Quake was when people started really, like, dialing in the idea of using WASD, because it was much more accessible to the hand and everything. <laughs> I don't know. I, I prefer using WASD. Even for platforming games, I try to do it, but it depends on the platformer. Um, like, Super Meat Boy, it's fine. Um, I'm sure if I played, like... I don't emulate games, either. <clears throat> I prefer to actually just go out and buy them, because I think emulating is kind of cheap. I'm not going to get there as a secret back there if you guys are really curious. I'm just not going to grab it. But, um, yeah, there's that if you really want it. I think there is some, like, little noodly secrets you can do in each level as well. Where it's like, you can finish the level a bit quicker by doing some nonsense. But, you know, I'd much rather just do it linearly so you guys can actually just see how it's done. Because that's the interesting thing and I'm only doing it level by level because I know there's some people out there myself included that really just want to see how one in particular level is done because I honestly like to uh, I think one of the best wads I've ever played was um, what's it called Hellgrounds because Hellgrounds uh, had that really cool level called Warp of Time which is basically the best level in the entire thing and if it wasn't for that being, I think it's the fourth level in that, I would never have heard about that wad. And fuck, I'd never play it if I heard it. I'd be like, that sounds like a generic looking wad, you know, hell this, hell that, everything kind of blends together. But then it has like one of the most fantastic, well-designed, well-thought-out, awesome soundtrack, perfect difficulty levels of any Doom wad I've ever played. So I kind of attribute that to that. And I play, I think, you know, I played Doom for years. I like to see, like, certain levels in particular done properly. Because you actually get to see, oh, that's how that should be done. I don't know. There's a lot of them. Plus, some people, myself included, find wads where they're like, oh, cool, there's a neat level. How the hell do I do this? Because it's so obscure um, that you've never seen it before. And I'm sure that there's some people out there that are just like, how the hell do you do this level that I've, you know, it's not a mainstream big one. How do I do it? And I think that's a much better idea because 
There was one for a, a megawatt I was suggested to play. I didn't know how to do, and I found it doing that. So, either way, that was Hell Mountain. I'll see you guys in the next one.